हेलो गाइस चैनल टू द वेलकम सो टोरिंग ऑन मोटरसाइकिल्स यू नो हैज इट्स ओन किक वी ऑफन एसोसिएट टोरिंग विद यू नो गोइंग ऑन हाईवेज राइडिंग एट हाई ट्रिपल डिजिट स्पीड्स राइडिंग एक्सपेंसिव मोटरसाइकिल्स बट दीस सॉर्ट ऑफ रोड्स इन द इंटीरियर्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश वेयर देयर इज नो प्लेन टर्म एक देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ पैच वर्क ऑन द रोड अ लॉट ऑफ बम्पी स्पेसेस एंड आई एम राइडिंग थ्रू विलेजेस this kind of gives you an old school feel this has its own charm exploring india exploring the interiors right not the main highways on a royal enfield uh, with its suspension not acting as good as you wanted it to be but still puttering the motorcycle at 60 55 kmph riding slowly enjoying the rumble of the royal enfield this has its own charm this is something that really makes touring interesting in india bhai hat ja yaar mere ko lag raha hai thode din mein na express way pe tum bhi allowed ho jaogi chalna par super bikes ko fir bhi roke rakhenge so guys the super meteor 650 was a much awaited launch for royal enfield right every one of us was waiting for what this machine would be capable of but one thing that most of the folks buying this motorcycle will have in their mind is whether you should go to ladakh on the super meteor 650 so how good is the showa suspension on the super meteor 650 i know all of you lining up making bookings for this motorcycle are expecting a lot from this brand new showa suspension first time ever royal field has something from showa right it's not the same showa that you would expect to get on top of the line adventure mode cycles it's definitely tuned towards the cruiser riding style but if you ask me this is not a mode cycle that is meant to be taken to ladakh or spiti right because a the riding posture which is a cruiser specific riding posture and i have told this multiple times with your feet way beyond you far ahead of your body while sitting everything that is there on the road get transferred to your spine so if you are wanting to do any sort of off roading on your uh, on your ride to ladakh then be prepared for some bone jarring experiences but if you just want to cruise on the motorcycle maybe till manali till the point where the roads are fine you can do that bad sections of the road i would actually not recommend this motorcycle at all apart from the riding position and mind you i am saying all this even after the much hyped about upgrade to the showa suspension first time a royal enfield motorcycle has a showa suspension but still as you can make out from my voice right now this is a bone jarring experience with just the patchwork on indian highways imagine what this is going to feel like when you are going to ride between sarchu and le i know there are good stretches of road but still would you want to feel this the whole day long i don't know definitely don't take this motorcycle to somaravi <laughs> but that's my humble opinion i know we as indians try to make every motorcycle work in ladakh and for god sake i have seen people riding their rc 390s and uh, suzuki hayabusa's to ladakh i mean those motorcycles are far apart in terms of their price bracket but none of them are made for ladakh but people do it for views or whatever you want to call it so it's your choice buy a motorcycle that is suitable for the terrain or make whatever you have work but in case you feel ladakh and spiti are big check marks that you would want to do in your riding journey this ain't the machine for doing that stuff the himalayan is the way to go then